Welcome to my lecture online. Just to make sure that we understood the technique we used on the previous video, let's do one more example. Again, we notice a single negative exponent, that there it's x to the minus 1, so the technique would be to multiply both the numerator and the denominator times x to the plus 1. In other words, we're going to multiply this expression times x over x. By multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by x, we get rid of the negative exponent. So this now becomes 2x squared minus 3x plus 1, because x to the minus 1 times x to the positive 1 simply becomes equal to 1. In the denominator, we end up with x cubed minus x squared. And then, of course, we realize we can factor out an x squared out of the denominator, and we can probably factor the numerator. So let's see what happens. So the numerator can be written as a product of two binomials. We have 2x and x, in the, and we have a negative sign here and a positive sign there. That means we need two negatives, and there's only one option here. To get a positive 1, we need to multiply negative 1 times a negative 1, so that's an easy factor. In the denominator, let's factor out an x squared, which leaves us with an x minus 1. And then we realize that we have an x minus 1 here, we have an x minus 1 here, that cancels out. So the answer then becomes 2x minus 1 divided by x squared as the most simplified form of that original problem. Again, the technique is to get rid of the negative exponents first, and that is how it's done.